Hi guys, welcome to Honestly Morgan. So today we're doing a, another DIY. I'm gonna try and make a pumpkin keg. So I found this on Pinterest, thought it looked really cool. I'm also a little scared of it. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, like, share it with your friends and see if they wanna give making a pumpkin keg a try too and we'll get started. We're supposed to draw a little outline for where we're cutting. The nice thing with the pencil is I can erase it. This is not gonna be a perfect circle anyway. It's now going in with my knife. If you've ever carved a jack-o'-lantern before, this is essentially what we're doing. This is something my dad always did for me. I don't know that I've ever actually cut the pumpkin. Adulting, that's what this DIY is all about. I got it. All right. I think I'm gonna keep the top so that if I wanted to, I could like transfer the pumpkin keg. Rolling up my sleeves. Gonna dig into this pumpkin. I'm gonna go in with my hands eventually and just craft all of it. I feel like I'm petting the inside of the pumpkin. <laughs> All right, so you don't need to actually get everything out of here. Like there's still a little bit of like pumpkin gut kind of around in there, but I'm gonna keep it in because it's actually going to flavor um, the drinks that we're putting into it. But first we need to get the spigot in. So I opted for the cheapest metal spigot that I could find. I'll link this one in the description box below in case you want it. We're gonna take the pumpkin and turn it on its side, find where I wanna put the spigot. I'm thinking the spigot will probably have to go in there. Maybe not. I'm gonna push a little dent into it, mark that off with a pencil, and trace around where I want my spigot to go. And my guess is it's better to cut this whole little bit smaller. You can always subtract pumpkin, but you can't add the pumpkin back in. Oh no, I already overcut the, the hole. It's a very tiny spigot. You could also get like a pumpkin carving kit from the dollar store, which has those really tiny serrated things. That would probably work really, really well for this. I'm supposed to take some sort of bolt and bolt it in, but the spigot doesn't go all the way into the pumpkin. I'm gonna carve out just a little bit on the inside near where the hole is. All right, that's looking pretty good. Try that again, put the spigot in. There we go, worked this time. I'm just gonna put the bolt right on it. It's righty tighty, lefty loosey. Well, that was actually, I would say that was easier to carve out the pumpkin than it was to carve out the, um, the pineapple. Now time for the cider. Here's hoping it works. It might've worked. All right, put the top back on. It looks all festive. Moment of truth. Oh my. Nothing happened. Okay, I feel like that's closed. Open? What in the world? What's going on here? Oh. Hey. All right, so we've concluded that this is uh, open. I thought that my roommates would be home in time to try this, um, but they're not, so I'm gonna give it a try. The pumpkin bits, they're there. The cider doesn't taste a ton like pumpkin. It's just kind of a neat thing. I'm sure if you let it sit in here for a while, it would start to taste like pumpkin. All in all, highly recommend you give this a try. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, like, share it with your friends, challenge them to make it for Halloween. Let me know if you do, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Was 
weird mo arm movements. 